Hello, Avondale Choir members. This is Jim Bowen. Welcome to the video, How to Use a Windows 10 Computer to Record Your Avondale Choir Video. This video is for singers that have a Windows 10 computer with a camera, either a built-in camera or one attached via a USB. We're going to use the PC to both play the backing track and to record the video. We're going to use the software that comes included with the Windows 10. There's another video that's available if you're instead using a Mac computer. Here's an overview of the seven steps that are required to make the video and to upload it. The starting times of each of the seven steps is shown in yellow. So step one is to assemble your materials. We're going to need to download four files that came in an email from Rich Stanley. So let's do that first. I'm going to open the mail program going to search for bless you and keep you. There's the email from Rich. Then I'm going to save all attachments. I click on save all attachments. I'd like to save those files to my desktop. I click on that and select folder. So if we go back to our desktop, we should see that there are four files that have been added. Let's see, here they are over on the left. Move them down to the corner here. Two PDFs, one singer's notes, the other is music, and the two MP3 files. What's also needed are some headphones. So headphones or earbuds to listen to the music while you're recording. Step two is to practice your part. We're going to use the Groove Music app to play the MP3 audio that has our part. So it's that MP3 file. We double click on it. to it on your headphones. You should also have the music either printed or on your screen and you just listen to the music and play along. It's not the words but it is the notes with the timing. So practice until you get your part 100% correct two times. Next we're going to create and play back a test video with the camera app. First you should read the singer's notes to get some tips on recording. Next, we'll open the Windows 10 app camera. Go down here to the lower left, type in camera. Pulls up the camera window. And when you're ready to record, select the Take Video button on the right side of the camera app window. It's right here. So I'm going to make a video. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. When you're done recording, press the red square. Now you can select your video in the lower right. It's right down here. Push this right triangle in the lower part of the window to play it. Make a video. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. When you're done recording, press the red. The videos are saved in the camera roll. Everything looks good. Step four is to make any needed adjustments to sound and picture. You should check to see that your microphone is working. Check also that your video is working. Check that the framing was correct. Check the lighting. I've got a lamp in front of me. And check um, anything else with the video. Step five is to record your part. So we're going to open the camera app once again. Go down here to the lower left, type in camera. Pulls that up. We're going to have our headphones on so we hear the music through our headphones so that the music that's played isn't heard by the microphone. And when we're ready, we should have our music ready. Start my camera here first because you want to make sure the camera is going when the music starts playing. So it started here. Now I will start the music. So you would listen to and, and sing along to all the music. But once the song ends, wait a few seconds before stopping the video. You'll have recorded the entire song. But once you're done here, you can see your video here on camera roll. See if you're happy with it. I'll give so it a play. The camera's going now. Bless you and keep you. Okay, we're happy with it. Enough of that. And then we want to give it a new name. So for that, I double click on these dots in the upper right corner of the camera window. 
open folder. It opens the file in the camera roll folder and we want to click on it and give it uh, put your name on the file name. Oops, it doesn't like that. It says the file is open. Close the file and try again. Okay. Put your name on it. Step six is upload your video to the Avondale Choir Videos Google Drive folder. So first open your favorite internet browser. Here I'm choosing Edge and put in the location drive.google.com and over here on the left select shared with me what you should see is the Avondale choir videos folder if you don't see this then talk to Rich to, to, for him to give you access to the Avondale choir videos folder double click on it and then we want to go to the folder that has our video so it's in pictures camera roll. Before we do that, let me show you something here. I'm going to right click on this and get properties. And what we can see is that this little video that we've made with just a smidgen of the song is 73 megabytes. So it's much too large to transfer via email. That's why we're doing it through this Google Drive uploading method. To upload it, we simply drag it into the window and release. It's going to take a while. We're in Vermont. The internet is slow, but eventually it'll be there and I'll see the file name in the list of files that are in the folder. Step seven, bask in your success or get help. Well, if you've reached this far successfully, you're all done. Congratulations. It's now time to call your friends and or your children to impress them with your newfound computer technology prowess. Or if you have problems, you can email me at jdbowennc at mac.com or rich at rich at avondalepresbychurch.org. We'd be happy to help you. Thanks for listening. See you soon.